Sometimes inspiration comes from the strangest places. In this case, I was on an airplane headed to Akron, Ohio, when a flight attendant announced that she was going to pass around a journal for a, for a father and husband who was serving in the military overseas. I was expecting another child. She invited everyone to write something, read something, or both. The attendant had only met the soldier on a flight, but felt it was something she could do to support him. Once full, she would send it to him. When the journal reached me, I wanted to offer my thanks, as many others had. Flipping through the hundreds of pages, I was amazed at how many veterans were represented. I also saw a scribbled drawing that had Brandon, age three, written next to it. Then as I went to write, I saw this. My daddy's in the army. Sometimes I miss him, but I know he's okay. I hope you come home soon. God bless you. Lauren, age eight. As a father of two little boys, this all but tore my heart out. It made the brave men and women in our military and those of other countries that much more incredible. The music is based on two well-known themes, Lullaby by Brahms and the famous hymn, Eternal Father, Strong to Save. I knew that these two pieces could embody the fragments from all the emotions I felt after reading Lauren's letter. The work draws mostly on fragments from each piece, using them as the basis for original music. Toward the middle of the work, however, the entire theme of Eternal Father, Strong to Save emerges, while a modified version of Echo Taps occurs in the background. Taps is not used to symbolize death here. Rather, it is used to communicate the ideas of sadness and longing. Shortly, the music becomes triumphant and celebratory in nature. The ending mimics the sound of a music box playing lullaby, portraying the father now holding his little girl before putting her in bed for the night while the music box winds down. Thank you.